Hey guys, so we're getting ready to close up the camper in the next few weeks and uh, one of the chores is to go around and uh, clean everything out. So uh, this is our uh, tent right here. And uh, you can see like, it's kind of green on top, kind of nasty. I don't know how well you can see. Um, but these tops do that. Um, you can see like how, like, yeah, it's pretty nasty, huh? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go through and uh, try to clean it up. I went to Lowe's and I uh, picked up uh, some cleaner because I just happened to be like near a Lowe's. I didn't really feel like driving anywhere um, out of the way. So I'm gonna try to document like, um, you know what I did to try to clean all this up. Um, so anyway, um, this is what we have here. And uh, even like the clear spots are like kind of like you know, green. You can see the kind of the greenness there just by rubbing on it. Um, I was told that if you use a power washer, it will actually rip through the plastic. Um, so I was told to do not do that. So let me show you what what, uh, what I got at Lowe's, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. So first, I saw this CLR stuff right here, and uh, it says plastic right on the back, so hopefully it won't melt anything. Um, so that, um, and the CLR specifically says that it's like anti-mildew. Then um, I also saw when I was there, this big kind of green jug here, Easy House Wash. And uh, it says kills uh, mold and mildew. And what it attracted me to this one is uh, it has uh, the attachment for the, the hose. So anyway, I'm gonna go at, the, go at it and uh, with the attachment and see um, if I hose this down, if it gets any better. And then I'll see if I have to take the brush to it. So I sped up the video four times, um, and it is raining outside, that's why everything um, looks wet. So anyway, um, you basically hook the hose to this thing, and it has a knob on the top, and on the knob, um, it has like an off setting, it has a rinse setting that just, you know, has a water come out, and then there's a soap setting. And uh, for the most part, the entire time you see me doing this, um, it's on the soap setting. Um, it does say that it's harmful to animals and uh, humans and stuff, so... You know, uh, if you have anything out, make sure you, uh, you know, put it away or uh, tarp it up or whatever. Um, it, my thought was it was raining outside, for probably a perfectly good time because everything will get diluted and, uh, and just sort of go away. The one thing I noticed um, is the stuff that, like, I directly, like, sprayed, like, like full blast, um, like, right against it. You could see that coming off. But the stuff that was, like, kind of far away... Um, you can see, like, I had to brush it to get it to come off. Um, but the brushing, like, really, really um, helped out a lot. Now, now this brush thing that I'm using uh, is a friend of mine's. And I'll, I'll link in the description uh, a link to it on Amazon so you can buy it um, if you want. And it's basically just, like, a pole with a brush on the end of it. There's a spot where you can put soap in it, but I didn't put any soap in it. So this is just, like, the brush with water. So here we are back at regular time, so uh, you can just see the difference. So I did just this one little section um, to start with. And you can see, like, like night and day, the difference between um, the area that I did um, and the area that, uh, um, you know, I hadn't uh, brushed yet, um, even with a cleaner. And, uh, like, whammo, jammo, um, it's super clean. So it just seems like, uh, you know, like, you brush, water, um, soap, and, uh, you know, it should be done in basically um, no, no time at all. And uh, so here, you know, this is just me doing the other um, part of this white tent. Um, and I, I didn't record, like, the whole entire tent because that would be kind of um, boring, probably. Um, so anyway, you can see on at least this half of the tent, um, um, like, what exactly I had to do to, to do it. And really it was just, like, hit it with a brush. And then uh, um, afterwards I did rinse it off a little bit um, with a hose before I did the final... Uh, um, video showing uh, the segment uh, that's coming up um, of the final thing. But I did do, you know, all the way around the whole tent, um, both tent, both sides of the tent, and uh, the product seems pretty excellent. You can see that the, um, the mold and everything is just sort of um, dissipating and going away. Hey guys, so uh, we're basically done. I am like super wet. Um, anyway, you can see it's like super bright white now. And, uh, like, if there's anywhere I missed, it's just because I missed it. Um, here you go. That cleaner seems pretty legit. Um, you just, like, spray it on. And then, uh, I just, like, let it sit for a little while. And, uh, here's the gray one. You can see it's clean now, too. Um, and I'll go all the way around real quick. 
Um, there's little corners and stuff, little edges that I you have to get in there with a, a brush. Um, but it seems like the trick with this cleaner is you spray it on and then you need to at least brush it and wash it. Or if you have like one of those brush things that has like a uh, water attachment, uh, that's like even better. Um, and uh, depending on um, how big your tent is and everything, you might need a ladder, obviously. So you can see, uh, like it is just like super, super uh, wide and clean. And it's been all all season. It's been uh, getting uh, kind of nasty. So um, that's what it, what uh, the end result is.